Top 10 Awesome Things You Didn't Know About PewDiePie Born Felix Arvid Ulf Gelberg, PewDiePie is one of pop culture's most polarizing figures. He's YouTube's leading man, shouldering the brunt of the site's popularity, while also having his fair share of criticism. He's been praised as a leader for a new generation of content creators and has undoubtedly changed how many online users get their entertainment. His fans dubbed the Bro Army are some of the most devoted fans online, and are a huge reason he's as big as he is and their numbers grow daily. PewDiePie has become such a large name due to how loyal a fanbase he's amassed, and it's the number one reason why he's YouTube's most subscribed user. Here are 10 awesome things you didn't know about PewDiePie. He ran for King of the Web in 2012. As big as he is now, it might be strange to think of PewDiePie as anything but the megastar he is today. But at one point in time, PewDiePie was just another guy on YouTube, looking to get some attention for his channel. One thing he did to achieve that was running for King of the Web in 2012. An American Idol type of internet program, King of the Web, worked with real time voting and instant commentary. He's raised a ton of money for charity. One thing we know about any big name celebrity is that they bring in a ton of cash. YouTube has evolved from a simple video sharing platform to a way in which individuals can gain both recognition and a means of supporting themselves. A few years ago, fans found out just how much PewDiePie was making, and it was mind blowing. But that doesn't all go in his pockets as he's heavily involved in charity work. In 2015, he raised $1 million for charity, according to Forbes. Last year, his Cringemas live stream raised over $1.3 million for the nonprofit organization, Red. He's an award winning vlogger. While he remains as one of the most popular personalities on the internet, PewDiePie has received his fair share of controversy and criticism. Early on in his career, his content was heavily scrutinized, but as he's gotten older it's actually gotten much more professional in quality. Among the awards, he's won is the inaugural Star Count Social Star Award for the most popular social show. Pretty impressive, right? Games sell better when he plays them. Though his content is a little different now compared to when he first blew up, PewDiePie's biggest draw is still playing games. From Amnesia to Happy Wheels tons of gamers had their first introductions to some popular titles through his channel. It seems that PewDiePie has the Oprah effect when it comes to video games. They just do better when he plays them. He met his girlfriend through his videos. For those of you that are really into his videos, you'll recognize Marcia, PewDiePie's girlfriend and occasional contributor to his videos. Marcia, who is a YouTube personality who goes by the name of PewDiePie, hails from Italy and first heard about her future boyfriend like the rest of us did, through a friend. After initially seeing some of his videos, Marcia decided to contact him, and surprisingly he actually answered back. The two eventually got together and are currently living together. He made roughly $4 million in 2013. We've already gone over how much money PewDiePie can bring in in a previous entry, but now let's look at that metric in a little more detail. All the attention he gets makes him an incredibly noteworthy celebrity, and like all big names in pop culture, Pewds makes a good deal of cash. He's released a book. At one point in time, all celebrities find a way to branch out in some way or another. PewDiePie released this book Loves You Back in October of 2015, and it quickly became popular among his die-hard fanbase. As you'd expect, the book is yet another try at comedy by the YouTube megastar. He's amassed over 15 billion views. As soon as you click on a PewDiePie video the one thing that stands out is the incredible amount of views they get. It isn't surprising seeing how far his celebrity has reached. But these videos easily cross the 1 million view mark in a matter of hours. He dropped out of university. His parents both being very successful in the business world, Pewds was expected to follow a similar path in life. In 2008 he enrolled in Chalmers University of Technology, lasting there three years before dropping out. While it was initially reported that he had done so to further his YouTube career, Pewds corrected this earlier this year saying, I dropped out of university because I didn't like it. He forgot his original YouTube account information. Forgetting your account information is an inevitable annoyance we've all dealt with at one point in time. But these things happen, even to a guy like PewDiePie. What you might not know is that his current PewDiePie channel was not his first on YouTube. He added in Pi to the name and things soon after kicked off for him, which is why most people only know about the PewDiePie moniker. His first video was of him and a friend playing Minecraft. We've all got to start somewhere, and while it might not seem like it, 
many big name stars all got their starts in obscurity. Even Pubes has a video showcasing his beginnings on YouTube. He has his own games. As a guy who makes a living partially on playing games, it'd be safe to assume that PewDiePie loves the medium. Legend of the Brofist is a 2D side scroller that encompasses much of the absurdity of Pewds' actual content. Another game, PewDiePie's Tube Simulator was released as a freemium app and was modeled after Game Dev Story, focusing solely on PewDiePie. He supported himself by selling hot dogs for a time. Everyone has to start out somewhere, and success often means having to put up with some sacrifices. After leaving school Pewds soon moved on to gaming, particularly playing games and recording himself doing so. In order to support himself, he got a gig selling hot dogs basically a minimum wage job in the fast food industry and built himself up from there. In a radio interview, Pewds described how his parents felt about his new ambitions saying, dropping the news to my parents that I was skipping my dream education at Chalmers to sit at home recording videos while playing video games was not easy.